presentation on atomic layer deposition. A process in which you have a big vessel and you put wafers in it, put an atomic layer on top of it. Somebody asked, why can't you do it with less of those gases? In the discussion, somebody came to the idea of using curtains of gases and have the wafer going underneath it. For the first time, we are now able to make a coating at the size of atomic layers thick. But then you get a layer which is so secure that it really follows the lattice structure, the crystal structure. And you need those coatings for organic lead applications, solar applications. You want to have a coating which is really sealed so that there is no leakage and the products can have a long uh, uh, lifetime. The impact of fast ALD is that we can apply layers in a competitive way, meaning the cost is so low that we are cheaper than traditional ways of applying this kind of layers. Also the quality is quite good and that gives an economic way of making an high efficient solar cell. In the end you can buy a solar panel in which you can install or have installed on your roof and the cost will be so low that it will compete with the electricity which you get from the, the normal uh, power station. So you will have uh, in the end cheaper electricity. You can expect that in the coming years you get phones and, uh, and tablets uh, type of computers at the size and the thickness of a foil, a plastic foil. If you want to make it really flexible, you need to have these uh, very thin layers which can bend together with the foil without uh, creating leakage or, or cracks in it. Everyone is looking at, uh, at the way to change over. With this technology, that's one step to reach his goal of becoming independent from oil and gas. If we dream about our future with these kind of technologies, we really want to be able to construct at an atom level structures. If we are able to do that on an economic level, then you can create a sustainable society regarding energy. If we are able to do that, then we solve the energy challenge for the world.